let us start our question number two on IGCSC pass paper question on electromagnetic induction this is a question on your AC generator so let us understand what is happening in the question if you want you can pause the screen here for a for a moment solve the question come back and look at the solution so let us read what is happening the figure here shows a coil of wire rotating steadily in the mag magnetic field between the poles of the permanent magnet. So you are given permanent magnets. You have a coil rotating in between this space. The current generated in the coil is passed through the resistor R. The apparatus in the figure is a part of an AC generator. What is connected between the ends A? and B of the coil and the connection C and D. So this part of the connection, if you see, which I'm showing with my pointer and the other point between E and D, it's not a complete picture. You have to identify what goes in this space. So if you have gone through the chapter on generator, you can easily identify that the missing piece is your, your slip ring. So in case of generator, you have slip rings right because it is a continuous ring we do not call it split ring but we call it slip ring so let me write down slip ring you also call them commutator rings and you can also say brushes they will be contact brushes So let us tally answer with the mark scheme. I always keep it a point to show you the mark scheme as well so that you can understand how the mark scheme works. So slip ring and brushes. If you're just writing brushes, you might not get the full marks, but if you're writing slip ring without brushes, you get full marks. So the important component which is missing here is your slip ring. All right, so let us come to the next part. On this figure, they are talking about this figure here, this graph. Scratch a graph to show the variation with time of the current through the resistor. Now you have to complete the graph here. You know it is an AC generator. Here in the question itself, they say that is an AC generator. So how does the graph of the current for an AC generator looks like? It is a sinusoidal curve. So you can draw a curve, something like this. Your wish you can extend it beyond. It should be a sinusoidal curve. Let's come to the next part. Next question B, the second part. On the same figure, show the time t corresponding to one complete rotation of the coil. One complete rotation means time for one complete cycle of the sinusoidal so where does the cycle complete it starts at point zero goes all the way it ends at this point because after this point the same pattern starts repeating so where one set of pattern is complete that is one time period one time period means the coil has completed one complete turn one complete rotation of the coil has been finished time taken by the coil for one complete term it's denoted by time t and on the graph it comes all the from way from here to this point right or you can just mark your t here so any which ways both are same so let us instead write t at that particular point why? Because 0 is already stated here. So 0 to, the, to this point t, that means this whole distance is t interval long. Now the next question, the third part. State two ways in which the graph would differ if the coil spins at a faster rate. This coil that you see here, if it is spinning, spinning faster, what happens? Now this is also something that we have discussed in our video on AC generator what happens if the spinning becomes faster it is a part of your igcsc syllabus what happens as a result you get same sinusoidal waves 
but waves which have higher frequency and higher amplitude. Let me show you. Let me draw it as well. The amplitude becomes higher and the frequency of the waves which are produced or the frequency of the current which is produced also becomes higher. So what do you see? What should be your answer? As you see on the graph, what I have drawn, higher amplitude, amplitude of the wave, the maximum height of the wave has gone up and also more frequency, more number of wave patterns in the same space. So what do you say? Higher amplitude. and higher frequency. Higher frequency. Alright, so this is something which is already covered in the theory as well. Now the last part, C. Such as what could be connected between C and R. C and R. So they are saying to introduce something in this space. Introduce what? That's a question mark. So that the current R is always in the same direction. So as you have, could have studied in electricity, what is that device which maintains current in one direction and if the current is reversed, blocks the current. What is that device? It is called diode. So your answer should be, let us study our answer as well diode this answer was correct sinusoidal curve t i have shown you how it is marked higher maximum current means higher amplitude greater amplitude and greater frequency so far all our answers are correct even the diode is a correct answer that's why i keep showing the mark scheme you can take a snapshot of the mark scheme as well and tell you're working yourself right So this completes your question number two. Let us move on in the next video to question number three.